H A R E. I don't know, we'd have to look and see who the blacksmiths are. Mm -hmm. Can this was actually bolted at one time. Let's, you know, see how mm -hmm. there's a hole. Look, and there's a little bit of gold. Mm -hmm. And it was orange. Let's get this in the light. Bettina? Yeah. This has an orange paint on it. Yeah, you know, I think uh, mm -hmm. we there's two. There's kind of a yellow and then an orange and a dark gray. It's a lovely patina on it. Yeah, it is really. And then down here. Then it's painted over over here. There's, it was all over here. Yeah, there's an edge that you can see um, here. I saw it. Oh, oh man, do you think he did that? You think he had a gold? Uh, go oh look, and there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A uh, the golden kashari on his on roof. his roof. Oh Shining. my god. Ah, that's pretty cool. I'm glad I didn't just grab it and go. Did you see? Oh, and here's more. You see the sun shining off of it? It's a oh, yes, it day. Is. Oh, do I think we're going to be ordering size and leave? <laughs> we're going to take it to Marty. Marty, he'll do it. I know he would. He, he would totally do it. Uh, I'm Martin Horowitz and we're here at Goldie Framemakers, which is my mainstay. We're gilders and we replicate history here. And that's kind of what we're doing for this, this whole project. Anywhere there's gold involved, or has had been gold involved, like this piece, uh, the, the, they come to me and, and we make those decisions on how to proceed. What I'm suggesting, for permanence sake, would be to, would be to bead blast this entire piece with a, a 90 grit Starburst 90s, you know that's that's what you would blast the bronze with, and that would clean the entire surface. And then I would take it to a powder coater. We have one here in town, and I would have it powder coated because powder coating is a complete seal, and it's almost as good as forever. It doesn't deteriorate in the weather, which is why I use it on my sculpture. Okay. Uh, once it's powder coated, then I take it from there and. I'd put a 12-hour oil or a 12-hour varnish on it and gild it in 23 and 3 quarter carat Rosa Noble Gold, which is the heaviest. So it would have the, its longest life. And it would shine just like that little Saint Grenade. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they actually electrify the metal. It's going to hang out with you this afternoon. Right? Yeah, and they spray it, and because of the charge that they throw into the metal, it sucks onto the surface, and then they take it and they bake it in an oven. Big giant, you know, they roll these mm -hmm. things in and out, do a car, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, this, right. we'll leave this, this nice color, mm -hmm. and which, once it's up top, no one will ever see that anyway. That's right. You know, and it'll just fade away. Mm -hmm. But this is going to go great. That's going to be one shiny thing. <laughs> it's probably 25 feet? No. No. 14 foot to the parapets. Then there's a skylight and then there's another piece so it sits above the skylight. Maybe 20 feet up? Yeah. yeah that's, 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 that's a pretty nice. long way because mm -hmm. if you look up here like this is Good. this is 9 at that corner. Right. Right? So twice that. Yeah, it's it's just going to be this yeah. boing. It's going to be a shining Beacon. A, beacon. a beacon of light to find your way to the front door. Or a hood ornament. Or a hood ornament. <laughs> Hello? I'm going to tamp that ever so gently. 
and that'll go down into the surface. It's still a little wet, but you can see right here how beautiful that looks. I don't want to. I don't want to do it all right now. I want to wait a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a little bit firmer, because now what's happening is the oil size is continually drying and getting harder and harder and harder and it won't really be totally dry for another five or six days and that's when I'll, I'll let you have it we can reinstall it but we'll always have to be very careful not to touch the gold we'll be handling it from the bottom mm -hmm. because that's just the tape over there to protect that area oh this is a beautiful gill gel you did a great job Thanks. looks wonderful